Well, I'll put a new flooring down in here. This was the uh, laundry room. Got it painted. I didn't video, I'll be doing this because uh, you guys would have laughed me getting up and down off the floor as much as I had to. But uh, took all the trim off, put new flooring down, still finishing it. Right here you can see I still got a couple pieces left to do here. And then I'll put the trim back on. To do that, I uh, actually got a new toy right here. I'll show you the box. Here's the box, the wall uh, nailer for uh, trim. Got it open and uh, using it. Just like my frame and nailer. Well, this one's battery, the other one's gas, but uh, I don't think I'll ever go back to doing this by hand. But uh, there it is right here. It's got the two inch nails in there right now and I got the inch and a quarter to go on the on the doors. So the two types of nails. There's the inch and a quarter. Let me see if you guys can see it. Inch and a quarter. And then two inches right there. To glare off there, two inches right there. They're heavy. But I got the first coat of paint on. I'll go up and I got some touch up to do. I got all the trim back on the door down here. Just got the trim on the side here. Around where I still got the about six, I think there's six pieces left I gotta put in. So thank you YouTube on uh, showing me how to do the flooring like this. I found uh, I'll find that video again and I'll put a put a link down to it or or bring it out uh, in my comments. About how to actually measure and cut this floor and it's pretty simple you can see I've got the square right there and then you take the next piece my cutting square that I got right here and you put it where it belongs mark that one out where where it needs to be and it goes right into place so when we do this you just take this piece and lay it in and mark it, cut it, you just score it and it break pretty easy. And this piece right here will go where that piece goes right where it goes right there. Would go where that piece is. But right now I'm gonna be cutting this piece out. So I'll put that piece against the wall here or underneath the wall. And then where it comes out, I'll score it and then break it in half breaks pretty easy and then this top part will be what goes right here excuse me goes right here pretty simple on that and then once we get this flooring down I'm gonna do our entrance way right here that's a lot of flooring I get done for me for getting up and down it's pretty difficult but there's one of the spots in the floor that I gotta cut out and we gotta patch before we do it but Again, then I'll paint all this in here and the downstairs. Already done some drywall work. These are from the comments we got from selling the house. We had a, a buyer, but uh, finance didn't go very well for him and we wouldn't go any lower for him. Um, we got some comments back to go ahead and paint it and redo some floors. And so Darlene and I, she does have sorry for the light there. Are doing it. Now I've got this is our living room. I got the first coat paint on it. I still got to do the edging trim on it. But it's getting it's getting there. Looks a lot better than it did. So uh, that's where we're at right now. So, sorry you haven't been seeing any videos, but I've been working. That's uh shut down for us. Uh, so it's been a lot of work. Uh, we got our kitchen. And I opened up the doorway there back to the, the other dining room, where the dining room was. We were going to make it a bedroom. And now the house goes all the way around and around. Kids like it. But I get a uh, transition piece there. And then take this trim piece and go around the closets right here. I have doors for these closets. 
but I'm going to leave them open right now for whoever wants to uh, buy the house. They may want to do something different with that. This is a, a den. Of course, it's been ready. Got to fix the breakout boxes. That's where all the wires to mouse come to. Uh, and here I am going around in the corner. So you can see the kind of the, the floor I got to do here. And then we're back. So that was the trip around the house. That's what we've been doing for the last couple days here. And then uh, we'll continue on. I'll see if I can uh, video this, this other part because it's got all the angles and stuff just to show how it's not that hard once you do it to put that new flooring down. So, okay, well, I'm going to sign off here. This is what the hard part for me is getting up and down on the floor. So, I just peel back the corners and these just enough to where I could see line up the other corner. And that one's chipped, so let's turn it that way. And I'll line it up like that. Take this one. Keeping this one from moving around on me. And this one will go into the wall like that. About where we want it. The trim off, I can go as far as I want. Then I, I just put a couple marks. Put some cardboard down. I think the best cardboard, but it's the box. Just gotta be careful not to cut through. Stand over here so I can see the marks. Score. Clean. And cut goes up into the wall. And you line it up and push down. Got to get all the air bubbles out of the seam. Now they say to roll it out with a hundred pound roller. But I'm a 260 pound man rolling around these tiles. I'm pretty sure they're stuck pretty good. And that's pretty much how you cut one out. And it fits perfect right there. Do the same thing for all the cuts. Uh, when we do the other floor, it's got angles on it. And I'll show you how to do that too. Those are just as easy once you figure out how to do them. Okay. Enough. Please hit the subscribe and like buttons and to keep up with new videos, please hit the notification bell. If you like this video, please share. We'll see you in the tube.